Well, for more than a year, the housing market has been booming, finding affordable homes difficult. Now people looking to buy are investing into model homes, also known as mobile homes. Mary Jane Beliesa joins us live from the Southwest Valley at the Flamingo West Mobile Community to explain how these homes could reshape the housing market. Yeah, that's absolutely right, Christian. Flamingo West here on Flamingo and Cimarron is just one of the many mobile home communities appealing to potential home buyers, all with the choice of amenities, customization, and affordability. In an oversaturated housing market, mobile homes are helping cut costs. Ted Cooper says it's helped him. He's had his mobile home for two years now. Compared to a stick built home, is a fraction of the cost. The taxes are cheaper. The lots are usually smaller, so the maintenance is a lot less. And, and it's a nice area. I compared the costs of some mobile home parks in the valley. Depending on the year and size of the home, costs can run anywhere from 30000 for a one bedroom, one bath in El Dorado Estates or up to 150000 for a three bedroom in Mountain View Mobile Home Park. Andre Alpha owns Vegas Mobile Homes. He says 70% of the buyers choose these homes because it fits their finances. The need for quality and affordable housing has never been greater than it is right now, especially with how overheated the housing market is. Um, right now, we're seeing more and more people shift away from conventional site-built homes and explore uh, manufactured homes as an option. Jean Parrott has managed El Dorado Estates Mobile Home Park since 1996. She adds the process of traditional home buying goes beyond four walls. A lot of people don't realize that these are not the trailer homes of yesteryear. These are homes that in some cases look better than site-built homes because they have the quality control during the building process that some site-built homes just don't have. Property owners also tell me they expect mobile home interest to continue steadily increase over the next couple of years, especially with all the financial concerns brought on by the pandemic. Reporting from Cimarron and Flamingo, Mary Jean Belleza, live local now.